Hi, my name's Woot. Welcome to the channel. If you have ever tried to create an original character, you know how hard that is. Stan Lee, while working at Marvel, created more than 300 original characters, and yet even with the prevalence of Marvel movies that we have today, very few of them are famous. In fact, most people could name a dozen of the characters he created at best. Just coming up with an idea can be the challenge though, just getting a place to start. So when I found this on Pinterest, this character creator challenge, where you roll random numbers and it specifies what the characteristics the character will have, uh, I was super intrigued. Because uh, it identifies what the gender is, what the hair length is, what the body type is, the nationality, the hair color, the personality, the age, the eye color. So after I rolled all my numbers, I was left with creating an adult Scottish male with medium length black hair, muscular build, a kind personality, and purple eyes. This really got my creative juices flowing and I immediately started looking for references because Honestly, I don't even really know what a Scottish person would look like. So after I gathered my references, I had a good place to start. And I was really excited to dive into this sculpt and kind of create this original character. It also got me thinking about like poses and the different ways that I could pose this character, the environments that I could put him in to create the overall, uh, you know, feel of the character. And I was excited to work on the muscular aspect of the character. I don't do a lot of muscular men, so uh, just having the time to kind of work on that anatomy and get a better feel for that uh, was really exciting to me. So I blocked out the character, uh, I sculpted him, and then I used quad remesher to remesh the character and, and then position him. Once I got him kind of posed how I wanted him posed, I used a multi-resolution modifier to uh, then, you know, refine the pose and, and fix any of the deformations that, you know, weren't really that good. Cause I mean, that can happen when you're, uh, posing with just using a remesh, a quad remesh mesh. So this is what I came up with. This was my final result. I was pretty happy with it. I hope you like it. It was kind of, it was a fun project to work on, but it got me thinking, what if we took it a step further? What if we rolled the dice one more time and gave our character a superpower? What if one was gravity, two fire, three wind, four water, five land animal, six ocean animal, seven insect, eight technology, nine earth, 10 beam, 11 light, 12 force. We roll one more time and make our character not just a character, but a superhero. If you use this to create your own superhero, please tag me in the comments below. Let me know because I'd love to see what you create. Thanks so much for watching the video. Have a great day.